Hey guys, and welcome back to another podcast episode two. And sorry about the late of, you know, being late towards a podcast. Well, for the next episode of podcast, it's just, you know, it's not that I don't like this content. It's just I've been busy just doing other contents. I just forgot to do this podcast or another one. So without further ado, let's begin with this podcast. So if you guys always watch videos and stuff, don't worry. There's like a gameplay footage in the background. But if you guys are working or, you know, want to listen to like background audio only, uh, I suggest, you know, just listen to it. Like, you don't have to look at the video. You can just go ahead and just chill and just listen to my awesome voice or something. I don't know. (laughs) I hope that the microphone is good because I heard that my microphone was a bit, like, meh last time so i hope it's not bad this time i hope anyways without further ado let's begin the first question i asked on a live stream is well not the question actually it was it was actually from me it's, it's called got my roblox account back so apparently i got my roblox account back ago where i got my roblox account back i don't know it was it was self-explanatory but, but in the way that i managed to get my account back after i uh you know been calling the, the roblox uh, community people like just telling them like hey you messed up why are you basically banning me over over something that i didn't break the rules of and it's like and what that rule is is nothing because i literally just you know typed the shirt fan art noah or something Uh, because it was one of my shirt like you know things i'm trying to sell on the game roblox but apparently they just flag it thinking like oh i post something inappropriate and it's like what like i didn't even post anything inappropriate what are you talking about so but despite all that i am glad that the fact that i got my roblox account back so that's cool otherwise i would have waste like a lot of money over my roblox avatar it's it's not expensive but like in a way that i would have like lost a lot of progress and my game data like save files like among all the games i play on roblox that would have been terrible though so yeah but anyways uh next topic me trying to set up roblox oh oh yeah that was a time when i was trying to do something different i was trying to do a thing where i'm trying to switch up the podcast in the live stream where i'm trying to instead of just keyboard cam only you know like my arms and my keyboard cam only i try to switch it up by you know switching to roblox and made like a little overlay like on showing my roblox game on my hangout game it'd be down in the description below if you guys are interested to check out the roblox game i made well, not I made it. It's technically they, but the people I hired, you know, made the game basically. Well, besides that, I kind of want to switch it up because I thought it's kind of boring to see like the keyboard cam only. So I technically just switch it up and just be in a game while I have my keyboard cam like separated. So I have like both this and that so that it makes it look pretty interesting. I, I don't know. It was interesting at first because it's like you're in a hangout game or in a chill place type of game while you're just doing a podcast. And I thought it was interesting too, but I don't know. I guess I stopped for a second. Second, or I stopped doing that because I don't know just felt like it, I guess maybe eventually I could do that where I just only show like my Roblox character in a in a hangout game or something or whatever or my own hangout game and that's pretty much it but I don't know so yeah so next topic is minecraft so i'm not sure if i talk about this on the last podcast i mean i did mention about minecraft because you know when it comes to roblox and minecraft but but we're not going to talk about that we're going to talk about directly to about minecraft though so minecraft is one of the games i like the only thing i like about the pros and cons about it the, the pros are that i like the fact that you know survival mode is pretty nice and calming like it's basically calm and it's like you know you're basically just playing a single player world of just fighting like npcs and just mining survival and stuff and basically just playing by yourself of just building and especially like creative mode of you know building whatever you want to build or build a structure or something the cons are is that about minecraft it's just the minecraft servers though it's not that the games are bad but it's just in a way of the player base are just so dang hard to defeat like every time like when i play minecraft online basically and i try to pvp or play versus player against someone or trying to fight against someone it's like i can't like literally defeat them like it's like impossible like in a way that like they have like the lowest lentency or they have like the best like gaming setups that they're like you know th- that i got like overwhelmed that easily and man it, i don't know it could be either but still it, it is really hard i like minecraft on the high pixel the the mindplex and all that stuff there's some games that are actually good like on the games too on high pixel there was like this uh you know mob mob of zombies or something like that or the model of the dead uh zombie mini game and it was really good i think the fact is though is that i like like minecraft like you know mini games that has like not like you know you know too competitive like i like like build battles or or mob of the dead or 
you know, some other, you know, type of game or or a question that built type of mini game or, you know, you know I'm saying like basically just mini games are just not too crazy or not too, you know, something that you have to be so flexible on. Like you have to like, oh, you know, what I'm saying like like not like too crazy over like fast pacing mode. I'm pretty sure Minecraft is the most fast pacing mode than than even like all the other FPS games. Like all by, like by far though. Like like if you see like a lot of videos basically, like videos around um on my, on YouTube like you'd be seeing like Minecraft PvP um, montage and you see like like motion blur fast pace like and you, you basically see like the player just aim body their their mouse cursor like on like the little person's like torso and that's like man that's just that's just crazy like man like just literally just like you know just comboing like a lot and it's just uh that's how i deal with these players too that i'm trying to like hit them and they're like their ping is like saying oh they, they're literally hitting them like that close and even though on my perspective it's like nope you're hitting me like so far away. I don't know how you can even hit me from far away. But either way, I just hate Minecraft servers. I, I just like regular single player or single player like survival world, single player creative mode, single player, not like single player Minecraft server games, but like just mini games that are just not too complex or not too like fast pacey type of thing. So that's why I like two sides of Minecraft, one for single player and one for like, you know, Minecraft servers. But despite all of, you know, Minecraft servers though, we are talking about the literal thing, the number one thing ever, Minecraft mods. And the second one is Minecraft maps, whatever they call it, like where you just basically download like maps and you put it in your Minecraft folder and then you just be able to play like parkour maps of you know people around the world and man they have so much it's like literally content like so much content like around like Minecraft that you can basically play like any Minecraft map or make like a Minecraft mod showcase and you have like so much ideas you can make out of Minecraft so I like Minecraft in general though I mean it's I, I can imagine the possibilities it's like so crazy though but you know I, I still kind of wish I can like come back to Minecraft in a way well not like my, my PC edition no I'm talking about the the PS4 edition where I, I have like all my worlds like in the Minecraft like file or something like on PS4 my console but guess what my sister stole it so I, I can't really do much about it because I guess my dad's uh, favoritism is my sister so I guess they rather just let her have the the PS4 than not me so but you know it's just unfortunate but it is what it is maybe eventually I might be able to get my PS4 back probably and probably just you know make a video about it like who knows like I might make like a video about like hey I'm returning back to the old Minecraft worlds or something I don't know but you know just stuff like that to others who are talking about my Minecraft content like if you guys have any questions about like why I took a while to make Minecraft content well I I'm just busy I'm just busy of real life busy of making content or or busy of just making like my social media better so in a way I'm kind of just been you know busy or just or distracted most of the time but either way it is what it is so eventually I'll come to making more Minecraft skyblock videos or Minecraft something something videos I don't know so yeah that's pretty much it for Minecraft um next topic is item asylum the first thing i want to say though is let's just say that there's this youtuber that just you know do nothing except just item asylum that's like it's it, like in a way that they have to wait every single update each update equals content so i mean i get the idea but in a way that's kind of like oh shoot i have to literally wait like months just to even you know make content out of item asylum if you don't know what item asylum is it's a roblox game like you having three weapons like one for a man LA, one for a range and third is like mythical or something i don't know but if you guys like you know search it up you, you guys might get the idea besides that it was really annoying because i mean i know it's it's her it's his channel and stuff you'd already want but i'm just saying in a way that's just kind of just seems boring and just seems a little too much dedication over an update over a game or something or basically just a youtube channel that just basically talk about item asylum only so that's just one thing but but anyways um despite of all that item asylum is a pretty good game though i mean not gonna lie it's 
it has many possibilities of, of the game can really be though in a way of having like vip servers and you can like you know pick which map you want and they especially have like admin panel or something where you can you know get whatever items you want especially building tools where you can just build whatever and stuff too bad that you can't really save like you don't have like a save file in it so that you can't really save anything when you build so it is what it is but but it is pretty cool though in a way that you know you can have your own vip servers and stuff and you can invite people to to play and you know and you can do like a competition to be honest and also another thing too though that's interesting too is their discord server in a way that you can be able to join like a vip server that the discord server has that they sent out like discord links so that one of those discord invites links well not discord invite links i mean like the roblox invite link to their own vip servers so that they can just want you to join their game or something and just chill i guess i don't know it's like a randomized but it is pretty cool though to and especially the, the only way you can ever you know share an invite link in case of you know if you don't got no friends you can like you know bring some people from from their discord or something but it's pretty cool though so yeah so, so yeah uh item asylum uh it's a good game but i kind of give up on item asylum because i sort of give up i did make two contents of it maybe i could come back in the third content but nah i, I don't know it'll come eventually but i'm not gonna do it in the meanwhile so yeah that's pretty much it for item asylum so yeah the next topic is YouTube Shorts. So about YouTube Shorts though, I know it's basically a, a replica of TikTok basically or Instagram Reels or something. I don't know. It is pretty cool though, honestly, because I don't really go on TikTok that much for, for the sake of what YouTube Shorts has done in a way that I don't like, you know, go any other platforms like, except for YouTube. So by them adding YouTube Shorts, it was actually pretty good though. And you know what's funny too though? They even have like another YouTube Shorts replica called YouTube Stories, which I have literally have no idea why would anyone even use that at all but sure maybe them i guess but either way besides uh youtube stories youtube shorts is actually pretty good except it only limits towards like 1080p because like on like regular videos you can watch like 4k or 2k or you know 8k basically and on youtube shorts you only like be able to watch like 1080p videos or something at least you can watch 1080p 60 videos at least so that's good but it does have a limit towards how high of a quality you can be but it is what it is and to me most of all i actually do post some youtube shorts on my channel though in a way that i kind of you know post youtube shorts about you know oh the upcoming video or well not upcoming video mo mostly just videos that already existed but like on youtube shorts basically so like in a way that to promote my old videos or my new videos i just say like hey check this video out in the pinned comment or something so that you know like because people usually watch youtube shorts and if people you know watch youtube shorts they might encounter my youtube short and they can like see like my one of my videos being played on youtube shorts and that could be pretty cool in a way of bringing people to watch my old videos or one of my videos so it is pretty cool of an idea of mine that of making youtube shorts i i do make like other out of context or different types of youtube shorts but you know but that was before and and this is now so i'm just technically just you know making youtube shorts that are just hey check me out a uh, new video type of thing or something i don't know but the youtube shorts on the other channels well that's a mystery still because i still not sure what's my plan for youtube shorts on like you know no the react player or or something like that and no the clips player channel i'm not sure what could i do for youtube shorts there because i actually did the exact same thing on youtube shorts on my gaming channel so it's it's kind of the same thing probably so i don't know maybe there might be a difference on it who knows and especially you know the ai player uh channel so i'm not sure I don't know. It's a mystery. Like if I have to make like more TikTok accounts or, you know, new shorts on it. Also, fun fact, I basically use TikTok as my secondary YouTube shorts account. So basically I just post like YouTube shorts on like TikTok also. So I basically have like both YouTube shorts on my YouTube channel and TikTok account as my, you know, TikTok page for, you know, all my YouTube shorts. So that's pretty cool in a way that I, I, I have like basically TikTok. Instagram Reels, I leave that alone because I just kind of just, you know, just don't think, like, none of those aren't important. So, just TikTok and YouTube Shorts are, like, the most important thing. So, yeah, so that's that's the uh, end of the topic of YouTube Shorts. Next topic, talking about TF2. I'm not sure what I was talking about about t TF2, but let's get started. So, TF2 is one of the good games I like, but 
I think typical colors 2 is a lot more better because of you know many flaws has been fixed on typical colors 2 so at the same time I think like TF2 is the main king most of all because you know the, the TF2 community servers the uh, well I, I know it's just mostly that because you know mostly because the bots are like you know ruining casual servers but at the same time it's pretty much nice to play like on community servers to just join whatever and you know just play like class wars or you know zombie apocalypse mini game or a lot of cool creative like mini games you know all the server community servers like out there basically and they even have a website too like a better interactive like website that you can actually join like tf2 servers and especially mvm like maps 2 of the server which is pretty cool though so it has a cool website interface so it's a lot more better than looking at the tf2 community tab look alike or something i don't know and i know typical colors 2 which is replica of, of tf2 which is on roblox like i get that like it's uh it's a good game and it has a community server too but it's not as crazy as the one that they serve on like you know tf2 so but yeah on tf2 it's or team fortress 2 it's a really fun game though i do guys say that but i do prefer playing like typical colors 2 on a roblox version because it's a lot more nice and effective i, I don't know, it's a lot more better i'm not sure what to say but it's just tf2 it's just i think it's just that the tf2 is just it they're just bad at rocket jumping and compared to like t the typical colors 2 because typical colors 2 the rocket jumping is so nice like, it was actually really nice so in a way that was just a lot more better than team fortress 2 so there's a lot of like pros and cons when it comes to team fortress 2 or typical colors 2 but there might be a video i might want to make it about those two games so maybe that might be a, the new content probably that might be a pretty cool idea as a content idea for talking about tf2 and typical colors 2 so so yeah that's it for the talking about tf2 so so yeah the next topic is about my account in moderation. Oh yeah, okay, I forgot, okay. I, I thought for a second I was talking about my Roblox account situation still, but no, it was about my YouTube guidelines in a way that, like they're all acting so stupid in a way. So basically what happened is that it was like a really old YouTube video and all of a sudden they picked that video as like a, like a, like a rule breaking or something. I'm not sure what happened, but to short the story about the whole thing, let's just say that I got community guidelines and I just no reasoning why I got a community strike basically. So I basically just got community strike for no reason in a way that I have no physical or digital contact towards YouTube, except for Twitter, but in a way that they still, you know, talk like an NPC and then they don't really, you know, say anything at all still. So in a way that I still have to deal with the whole problem as a YouTuber that I have to deal with the whole YouTube being all anonymous and just being quiet about it. like being like one of those quiet kids who just been quiet the entire time without talking to us basically. So in a way that it's just YouTube is just really annoying to deal with when you're like getting community strikes for no reason or they let you know like, oh, you get hate speech or well not hate speech, but like, you know, they say, oh, you're breaking rules. It was inappropriate why is it appropriate i don't know it's like what so in a way that it's just you know mysterious in a way that it's, there's like no reasoning behind it like why i got community strikes and stuff so yeah the next topic is slenders and copy and paste and by slenders i mean the roblox slenders not like slender man and copy and paste so the reason why i was talking about them is because in a way that roblox has been dealing or well, not sure about roblox because I'm, I'm pretty sure they haven't even done anything and they just basically just let the whole community on YouTube just be making content about Roblox about these things. I have a theory in a way that I think Roblox is basically holding it off. Like they're holding off their guidelines a bit so that they can get like a little bit more clout basically of letting these slenders and copy and paste players be like online dating and stuff, which I don't get why they haven't got sued yet because come on, like they're literally kids or probably teenagers but still kids and they're like literally online dating on like a roblox game that i mean i know it's not meant to be kids most of all but either way a lot of kids are still playing it nowadays on roblox so in a way that you're just basically just like letting kids play around in the games like or one of their hangout games that they have no idea what's going on and it's just these people i don't know why these people have to be existing in a way of having to join a roblox game just for the sake of you know online dating and that's like uh and it's like messed up too especially the meep city game that recently got banned most of all because of the fact that they have like, the ability to create parties and they can make their own houses and for some reason they somehow managed to bypass all 
a lot of things, especially adding a hole, if you know what I'm talking about. But in a way that they're adding a lot of non-appropriate related things inside their Roblox house or their party. So in a way that the, that Roblox has been not doing anything for the past years until now. And I'm not sure why they have to continue this cloud, but it was so annoying and it's like the worst thing ever. I'm not sure what's the difference between Slenders and Copy and Paste, but either way, they have like the worst avatar on unoriginal avatars I have ever seen. They even have like a toothpick leg and a stitch face face that costs like around almost 2,000 Robux, which is like probably 20 bucks, which is a lot of money or a lot of Robux over a face basically. So yeah, that's just great. That is perfectly amazing. Wow. Especially that some of them have like faceless heads that cost like $400 for no reason like they just basically waste a lot of money over an invisible head like every time when October came by just for the sake of them just being able to get the headless head and it's like seriously how are they supposed to know what you look like you know and I still don't understand why some of the items on Roblox cost way so expensive and yet people are so doing it just for the sake of clout and it's just so dang annoying so yeah it's just you know everything about Roblox is clout and it's just terrible but I do hope that they eventually fix all the problems and stuff. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for the podcast. I'm not sure if this one was longer or not. I can't tell. But either way, I do want to say thank you all so much for watching. The next podcast will happen like some weeks ago, months probably. I don't know. But I do enjoy making podcasts like these because it's pretty interesting. And it just, you know, lets you guys like, you know, hear my thoughts about certain topics. If you guys want to, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you guys want me to say something like additional questions or something. Besides the related questions on my podcast live streams and stuff and yes and this is noah the game player or most of all noah the podcast player <laughs> get it but most of all this is noah the podcaster the podcast whatever and i'll see you guys uh next time goodbye